Oh, good morning, beautiful people. We are up, we are getting dressed. I don't know if you can see up there, that's the moon in the sky. But I'll turn you over here, that's the sunset coming. So this is where we camped yesterday. And just getting all my stuff, uh, all our stuff packed up. But yeah, ready to, to start walking again. It is day seven, 16th of November. It is 7.46 a.m. in the morning and we are back on the trail. Here we go, this is what it's looking like. All of these bushes, actually that one's not, but actually that one's not. I was gonna say, all of these bushes are really spiky. They generally are. This is sort of a, uh, I wonder if this is the old aqueduct. Uh, but yeah, we've been trying to sort of, um, one of the issues that we're having is there's just not enough time in the day to do the type of miles that we want to do because sometimes um, it can be really, really challenging terrain. So you're down to like one kilometer an hour, which is just, it's crazy. And then you can have some good stretches where you're up to like three kilometers an hour, but you're never gonna get to like five kilometers an hour. So we've decided we need to start earlier in the morning. So alarm went off at 6.45 a.m. We sort of got ready, but that took us about you know an hour to get up, get dressed, brush our teeth, all that sort of, all that fun stuff to do. But we're gonna to try tomorrow to do it in 45 minutes. Um, but yeah, here we go. The moon is still in the sky. This is what we're walking on. It's very sort of rocky, uneven terrain. Can you see the Turkish flag waving in the distance? So the X is saying we're not going this way. Yeah, we're going the same way. But look at that beautiful aqueduct. And then and that's the views, those are all the greenhouses, there's a road down there, and that's the next marker. So we're turning around this corner to go down here. I showed you this like that big long straight aqueduct thing, and we're actually going through it. Like there's a there's a big old hole in it that we're gonna walk through. This is a very cool. And then look at these giant structures they must have been used for something back in the back in the day oh wow this is very funky and then yeah we're literally walking through an old aqueduct that i mean look at it, how they built this i mean look look at it wow i mean that's just for some scale as well so i'm five nine and how tall is Wowzers. Hello. <laughs> so the Romans were so clever because they even built a doorway into the aqueduct, the big wall. I mean, how clever are they? Right, let's carry on. Let's carry on walking. Walkable. This nice little road coming along here. Check out those mountains in the background. This is one of the awesome things about the Lycian Trail. It's basically walked out of the woods that way, and then you just sort of come across all of these tombs. Like, how cool is that? And that one over there. And then there's some people there, but that's going to be cool to see as well. So this is inside the tomb. A body was probably in there at some point. And there's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like writing along here. Shall I translate for you? <laughs> Wowzers. That's very cool. Check that out. How? I'm gonna walk around it. How cool is this? Look at that beast. The triple vaulted oh, triumphal arch has become the symbol of Patara, representing the entrance to the city and welcoming the visitors on the way to the city centre. Wowzers, that's very The sun is beating down, it is absolutely glorious. So there's an amphitheatre down there, so just going to head in that direction to go and check it out. So one of the things that we're trying to figure out is basically what to do next. So we're on this sort of 32k loop but there isn't any water on the loop. So um, we, we've, got, we've got water now, but there's basically a town, which is basically sort of eight kilometers back that way. 
So I think we might have to hitch a ride or walk that way to go get water, to go get blue, get, get resupply, then come back here, then carry on on the loop. And the loop will basically take us back to almost where we camped um, the other night. It's, and then we get back again on the, on the trail. So yeah, we're just figuring that out. Water is basically the issue and trying to carry enough water. So if, when it's super hot, I mean, I carry about two liters, um, but you probably need more like four. So yeah, logistic, logistical challenges. Ooh, I can't wait to get to this amphitheater. It looks absolutely amazing. Check that out. You'd think like coming to these ruins and stuff that there'd be somewhere where you buy a ticket or something to go and look at it. There's not. It's basically just come look around. So currently walking this way to get close to the amphitheatre. Uh, yeah, I'm, there's no real signs or direction. So I don't know if I'm meant to be walking this way or not. Cause I'm basically just like crossing a field at the moment. Uh, yeah. Oh well. So it's basically an open door. So I just walk through it just to try and see what it is. And this looks like. I mean, oh, am I meant to stand on this? I don't. I mean, this looks too new. Like, this is looking as though it's been built quite recently. Obviously, I'm not a historian, so it's probably years and years old. And you've got like a glass thing here on the feet. Oh my God. I have to say, I don't really trust this glass. I don't think I'm really meant to be in here. But it's so difficult, there's no signs. Like, there's just nothing indicating where, you, oh, water. Oh, where you're meant to go, what you're meant to, what you're allowed to touch. Uh, it's very, I mean, what's down here? Little door. Mm. Oh. Can you see what's in there? Yeah, so that's locked. I don't think I'm meant to go in there. <laughs> A bit naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. My voice sounds amazing in here. Yeah, I, like, I know. Uh -huh. uh, well, oh, I need another song to sing. That's the only. That's the only opera type song I know. That's horrendous. <laughs> I think I'll stick to one cornet. Just one cornet. Give it to me. La da da da. I just want to face this way. We've got some big rocks with engravings on, but that's where I want to go through that arch and into the old school outdoor amphitheatre. That looks badass. I was, uh, I was getting worried that we wouldn't be allowed in. <gasps> oh my god, this is so cool! Okay, okay. Oh wow, oh my goodness, like just look at this. I need to go this way because of the sun. Oh my goodness. This is history. Absolute history. Oh wow. I feel like a gladiator. Gladiator in the arena. What would a gladiator say? My name is Maximus. <laughs> Father to a murdered wife, husband to a murdered no. You know what I mean. Oh, this is very cool. Okay, pack's coming off. Let's go explore. It's like some engravings on the wall. That looks like a, a knife coming down. Ooh, there's another engraving. I want to go see what's up there. All right, let's go explore. <laughs> This is the this is the tunnel that I pointed out before. Let's see. So maybe this was the entrance that people would walk in. So they'd walk in from here, and then let's go. Oh, 
This is just amazing. You always get the best views from the top. So let's go to the top, which is over this way. Oh my goodness. I am so pleased that we have come here. This literally has to be, I, do you know what I love the fact is? That you just sort of walk in and it's empty. There's nobody else here and this is just insane. And I do love one of my, my favourite building. One of my favourite buildings ha, is has always been like the Colosseum in Rome. And this is just. Can you imagine the history? The people coming here to to be entertained, to be sitting down with their friends and their family, and just to be here. It's just. I just can't put it into words. It is just amazing. And to just be here. Oh, some other people just arrived, but just to be here, like you know, by yourself, is is incredible. Main Street. Let's walk down Main Street. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Oh, imagine being back here, back in the day, walking along, doing your shopping, chatting with the friends. So this looks like pieces of the roof. Corner. And look, that's a lion's head. We left the ruins. Basically, had to come off the off the Lycian Way to come and get resupply. So we basically, found this market. We got basically we hitched a ride. It was only a mile down the road. But obviously, a mile with your pack, it's like an extra twenty minutes there, twenty minutes back. So we're going to get bread, cheese, fill up on water because we're going we're doing like a twenty-kilometer stretch with no water. So uh, yeah, this is the little shop. They've got all the water and drinks and juice, and then this is all the the chocolate that we like. This is the wine. This is what I like. Oh, there's rosé. Hello. Um, juices. More stuff. Um, yeah, so get food, get resupply, get water. This is where we're going. Yeah. So this is a view and down there that is the amphitheatres that that i was in just before and there's the sea and there's the beach and then way back when we came from way over there and it's crossed all the way around here back to there this is amazing so we've done we've got three three big climbs to do we've done the first climb so far so we're coming up to the high point now and then um big descent climb descent boom oh so this is like the high point. There's an incredible view over there. Bam, lovely beach. And then we swirl around here and oh, more incredible views. Just beautiful. Trying this, natro. It's basically like it's basically like a Milky Way. Uh, it's very nice, like caramelly, no nuts. Mmm, delicious. Very nice. Just look at this coastal view. That's the direction we're going to be heading in. We're basically sort of walking around this coastline here and then it's just going to continue. But this is insanely beautiful. The weather is glorious today. It says on the phone it's about 23 degrees, but to be honest, it feels more like 30, my happy spot. So I'm very happy. It's a little bit too hot, um, hot for cat. She prefers it a little bit cooler, but this is just glorious. Like, look at the blue of the ocean. This is the third big climb of the day, but luckily it's on a really nice road service. So we are powering, powering on through, because hopefully we may finish the loop, which would be amazing if we did that. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. You can see here, we're about to finish the loop there. 
and boom, that's where we finished the loop at that sign. So we've done about 15 miles. We've been in motion for four hours 42. I feels a lot longer, I'm not gonna lie. But I turned the, um, the app off when we were sort of exploring. But yeah, look, we're back at the sign. Bosh. Back, back where we started from this morning and the commute app has joined us up there. We're basically gonna carry along here. And then this is where I took a photo for camping. So this is where we're gonna camp tonight. So camping good for a group so this is a beautiful campsite so we are really very very close not far to go and this is just before the split um when uh yeah so we've just completed the full loop gonna camp here and the time is 4 14 brilliant right let's go we've just walked back along the aqueduct there's the view and then we basically we should come down here and this should be our camping spot oh my god please let's be our camping spot come on Okay, down we go. Whoa. Oh! So. Oh, da -da. oh yes! And wait till I show you this view. Oh, so Kat came and took some really good photos and it's beautiful and it's flat and it's pretty and it's gorgeous. Hello, camping spot for the night. Dun 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 dun. Oh, hello view. Oh, yes, we have finished the loop. What, we've, we've done so, we've done so well, amazing. We're all set up, we've got laundry hanging up, cats over here, I'm down here, we did a rock, paper, scissor. I won again, I've won all the last four times we've done it, I'm just obviously a winner, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, another hiker was walking past who's picked up a dog. There is the dog. Say hello, doggy. So, um, cat's trying to eat. <laughs> Yeah. And it literally, oh my god, it's got the biggest begging eyes ever. <gasps> Look at these eyes. I know. They're literally like, oh my god, Nick, feed me. You so we can't feed them or else he's just going to stay with us. Like, he won't go. Oh my god, and he's put, oh my god, this begging eyes. I can't even look at his begging eyes. Like, Ow. he's like sat so close and he sat on the antibacterial cream. <laughs> oh well. I'm all good though. I've got, I've got my, I've got my bread, my cheese, my crisps, my water. Yeah. My feet are clean, I've got some cheesy snacks in here, I've just cleaned my spoons. Mm -hmm. 